Alright, Shalom, Shalom to the Labakarium of Yasharala, which is the elect of the nation of Israel. Okay, back at it again with another Lord's with an edifying lesson. Before I go any further, I want to give all honor and all glory and all praises to our Heavenly Father and to the Holy Begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. And next up, double honors to our elder apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone who still got there in the highways and hedges and feed us with the 100% truth according to the Bible and Ruel, and Shalawam, Labahoy, and Wabaraki, and Shalashirala, which is peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel in the Lashiwan Kodash, the Hebrew tongue. This is going to be the book of Luke, the 14th chapter. Let's see. Let's see. This is Luke. Chapter 14, I'm going to start at verse 27. And it says, uh, yeah, it says, And whosoever doeth not bear his cross, this is Lord Yahweh Shah, teaching about the count, the, the, count, the counting the cost to his disciples, right? It says, And whosoever doeth not bear his cross, being his burden, his portion of hell, his portion of sufferings, and his truth, and come after me, cannot be my disciple." Which disciple goes into the ones who the Lord disciplined to uh to apply this word in their everyday lives to the best of their abilities out of the fear of the Lord. Verse 28, here's the point. For which of you intending to build a tower, sitteth not down first, and counteth the cost, which the word counteth right there goes into calculating or reckoning, you know, so calculating the cost of uh what you're signing up for. You know, you're not going to be that dude no more. You're not going to be that woman no more. You know, you're going to be a a, a new Christ, a creature, as the scriptures say. Hold on, bear with me. A fly ant of some sort. Salakia. Hold on, bear with me. Let me get it up out of here. Hold on. Let's see. All right. Salakia. And it says, um, uh, this is verse 28. It says, for which of you intended to build a tower, sit if not down first, and count of the cause, whether he have sufficient to finish it. Verse uh, 29, here's really, the, uh, I believe between 29 and 30 is the point. It says, least happily, after he have laid the foundation and is not able to finish it, meaning finish this work, Okay, when you're coming to this truth, it don't matter how many years you put in, if you don't endure it to the end, you ain't going to be saved because you ain't of the elect. You can put as much time in in this truth if you want. If you fall out, you out of there. It says uh, it is not able to finish it. It says all that begin, all that behold it, meaning look at it, begin to mock him. Yeah, because you fell out the truth. Here it is, you was on fire, you was cussing Jake out, you was screaming and hollering at the top of your lungs. That's right, bring it out, con, you know, call me Asherala and all that. But you didn't finish the work until the end, man. And that goes to any of those, um, any of uh, 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 the, uh, the, the, those groups that call, so called, they call themselves Israelites, man. You know, even those that fall out of GMS. And teach bud out doctrines or just fall out and just go back into the world, man. The Lord is going to destroy you in the worst way. And we're hoping and praying that we be um, to finish and endure to the end, Lord's willing. It says, saying, this man have began to build. I mean, he was doing the work for years. It says, and was not able to finish. And that's a disgrace. Okay. The Lord hates that. Just like on your physical job, if you do a job half-assed, you know, you're going to have to suffer the consequences, man. You're going to have to get called into the office. You're going to have to get a talk or two. You might get a dock in your paycheck. You know what I'm saying? Or you might just get straight up fired, man. Just get laid off, you know? So how much more to work you have about Shema Shah if you don't finish it? it? Ultimately, you just wasn't of the elect. So now let's go from there. Because I mentioned um, about it don't matter how many years you put into the uh, the work. If you don't endure it to the end, you, that, that ain't going to matter with the Lord. 
This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 18. Let's see. Uh, I'm start at verse. I'm gonna, if I go to the point, this is verse 24. This is Ezekiel 18 and 24. This is for time's sake because I got a jet soon. It says, but when the righteous turn away from his righteousness, right, those that are that were in the truth, that was in the know, and was teaching them 100 percent truth according to the Bible, right? Or just teaching that, you know, uh that our people are Israelites and teaching that the Lord and Savior is a so-called black man, you know. It says, uh, so pretty much teaching the truth. It says, uh, but when but when the righteous turn away from his righteousness. And commit of iniquity, meaning sin upon sins, all right, by falling out and teaching bugged out doctrines that don't got nothing to do with the scriptures, adding and taking away. It says, and if not according, it's like an and doeth according to all the abominations, wicked 50 acts, that the wicked man doeth. It says, shall he live? It says, all his righteousness that he have done shall not be mentioned. In in his trans in, it's like in his trans his trespass that he have trespassed, and in his sin that he have sinned, in them have he it's like in them shall he die. And this goes for the women too. All right, you know the ones of of that was um that knew that they're Israelites and it's, and knew their role as a woman, but then they go back into the world and start being whores. You know what I mean? Start coming up against the men of the Lord, thinking they can usurp authority over the man. Okay, the Lord's going to destroy you. We're in the worst way, too. You ain't exempt. And then the men that fall out the truth and go back up to the world or go teach them false doctrines, you know what I mean? Not teaching them 100% truth because the Lord took the Holy Spirit away from you. You're going to be destroyed in the worst way, man. You're a spiritual healer in the eyes of the Lord. And in the eyes of the men of the Lord. So if you took your hand off the plow, you out of there, man. You know, you out of there. So let's see what this say. Let's get some more precepts for a jet out here. There's something, qu something quick, something, you know, that, that, um, that was, uh, I believe I was watching the Elder Manatha Zot Bob. That's why I got the inspiration. This lesson from yesterday. Let's get what Lawyer Howard Shah said. This is the book of St. John 4. I'm going to start at verse 32. This is St. John 4 and 32. It says, uh, But when he said unto them, I have meat to eat that ye know that I of, which is referring to the, the crucifixion, the hell that Lawyer Howard Shah had to go through. Verse uh, 33. Therefore said the disciples to one another, have any man brought him out to eat or anything to eat? They was thinking carnally. Verse 34. Yahweh Shah said unto them, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. Right. And that work goes into business, man. Because this is a spiritual business that the Lord permitted us and allowed us to, to invest in and to be... um. To be um employees uh under man you know and this business is gonna last forever because this is the business of Yahweh by shim shah and can't nobody overthrow it man nobody can't debunk it nobody can't overthrow it nobody can destroy it man all right so now let's go from there and lo Yahweh shah finished his work and he got his glory and lord's willing we be a part of the elect we do the same thing, Lord's willing. Lord's willing, we be a part of the elect. This is the book of Matthew 24 and 13. It says, but he that shall endure into the end, the same shall be saved. Saved right there is talk about delivered or uh, salvation. Well, that's when the lawyer, how it shall return. But that I ain't talking about right now. You can't just retire from this thing, man. You know? This ain't, you know, this is this is about to be the end of the Esau's rulership when it's about to be destroyed very soon. But Lord Yahweh Shai ain't came yet, so it ain't the end yet. We still got to, you know, do what we got to do to stand firm in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, you know? So I'm going to read this again. This is the book of uh, Matthew 24. Just matter of fact, at the head, it says, Yahweh Shai tells about the future. And this is about to happen in the very near future, right? 
And it's also because those wacky tacky Christians talking about they saved already. Well, let's see what the Lord said. This is the book of uh, Matthew 24 and 13. But he that shall, it's like a, but he that shall endure to suffer, to make hard unto the end, the same shall be saved, be a rescue, delivered from, from danger or harm or destruction that the Lord is about to be bringing, man. And that's going to happen when Lord Yahweh shower turns to make a sand, to make a second grand entrance into the earth, man. He's going to save the, he's going to save his elect from the four corners of the earth. And he's going to destroy the two thirds over here in the Babylon the Great, which is America, man. And deliver his elect. So now, let's go from there to the book of, uh, First Corinthians. This is the book of First Corinthians. Let's see what the Apostle Paul said. This is the book of First Corinthians, chapter nine, verse twenty-five. It says, uh, "Matter of fact, I start at verse twenty-four. It says, Know ye not that they which run in the race run all, but one receiveth the prize? So run that ye may obtain. And every man that striveth for the mastery." which uh, competes for the prize, this is what it says in my sword, my Bible, is temperate, which means they exercise self-control. This is about uh, those that was uh, in the Olympic Games, man, back in, the, in, in, in um, it, which began in Greece, man, ancient Greece, you know? And that, that, that still goes on to this day with the different NFLs, the different NBAs, uh, hockey, all these uh, different sports, right? You know, if you want to be good at it, you have to, you know, uh, self-control. You have to sacrifice, right? It says, and in all things. Now they do it to to obtain a corruptible crown. Yeah, they, 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 it's something that's perishable. That's going to be destroyed right along with the Babylon the Great, which is America, man. So all those Hall of Fame rings, all those uh, world championships, all those uh, trophies, you know, all that's going to be destroyed, man. Over here with Babylon the Great, which is America, man. So that, that ultimately don't mean a damn thing, man. It says, but we of the whole full act and incorruptible. Right, yeah, in the kingdom, man. You know, that's what we want our glory when we when we Lord Yahweh shall returns. Who you even call Jesus Christ, but you got to, we got to finish first. Verse 26, it says, I therefore so run. Not as certain, not it's like a, not as in certainly, so fight I. Not as one as beat of the air, shadow boxing. That's pretty much what it's saying. It says, um, or throwing you know wild punches. It says, uh, verse twenty seven. But I keep under my body, and bring it into subjection. Yeah, uh, which spiritually, that's examining ourselves, man. You know, it says uh, being under the rule or the authority of Yahweh Shema Shah, you know, I'm sent through the Holy Spirit. You know, it says at least by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself, it's like it, I myself should be a castaway. You know. So those that uh fell out the truth, yeah, you are castaways, man. You're disqualified, man. You know, you didn't have what it takes to finish the spiritual work. You know? So it is what it is. But I gotta go, I gotta run out. Lord's will is edifying to next time I say shallow on Lord's willing.